Hello everyone, it's Shedwards here, back with another video, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the HD60 Pro, how to set it up, and how to stream it, just like the basics. So before we go any further, we're setting up the Elgato, plugging it all in, and doing the stream settings. The first thing you want to do, is if you're streaming on PS4, you want to go to the PS4 settings menu, you want to go down to system, and you want to untick HDCP because if you don't untick this then you won't be able to stream properly and the Elgato won't be able to reach PS4 so uh, yeah you need to make sure that's unticked to be able to stream okay guys so when you get the HD60 and you unbox it you'll have two cables you'll have a HDMI cable high speed and you'll also have a USB cable you're also going to need a third HDMI cable I'm going to show you how you set this up real quick. Guys, before we go any further with how to plug the Elgato in and set it up, the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the Elgato website as you can see here. You want to click on the Elgato gaming section and then you want to download, you want to go to downloads and you want to download the latest version of the game capture software. This is going to allow the game capture to work and operate correctly so just click download on the game capture for Windows and then just download that real quick once that's downloaded once you plug the Elgato in it will automatically detect your Elgato once it's all set up and, uh, and then you can get going with the streaming so the cable that you get with the Elgato looks like this it's a high speed HDMI this connects into the in port of your Elgato which is also where the USB slot is right there streaming on PS4, Xbox, whatever you're streaming on this cable goes into the in-port and into the back of the PS4 console that you're streaming on and then you can attach the USB as well which goes right there and then the last cable goes from your TV to your Elgato and that can just be a normal HDMI cable I just use a normal HDMI cable as you can see pull that in Okay, so once you've got your second cable plugged in on the left and it's plugged into your TV, then your PS4 should come back on. Whenever you play the game, it will connect to your Elgato software on your computer once you've got that installed, and you'll be able to live stream whatever content you're playing on, and you'll also be able to save video clips and things like that. Okay, guys, so as you can see, the HD60 is all set up, connected to the PS4, and connected to the computer the TV it's all connected up properly as you can see I'm playing Fortnite on the right on my PS4 connected up to my TV and it's coming through on my PC also through the through the Elgato software as you can see if I press escape key you can see the Elgato stuff and you can you know have a play with it but yeah I think it's a pretty cool software to use works out really well and uh, yeah, just make sure you have like good internet and stuff, a good gaming PC or PC. And I'll also show you guys how the basics of live streaming work. So that's how to set it up, really easy and simple. Get a bit stuck, you can look at the Elgato box, which also has, um, which also tells you the in and out cables, just in case you get a bit confused. And, uh, and yeah, we'll jump right into the live stream settings now. But uh, I hope this helps you out, guys. I hope it helps you out how to set it up because it can be a little complicated. Even though it's really simple, if you've never done it before, it can be a little complicated. But yeah, so let's jump into the basic streaming settings. So the final thing I want to do is just give you a quick rundown of the stream settings that I use. So as you can see, I've got no signal on my capture at the moment because I'm not really capturing anything. I'm just showing you guys the settings. So if you want to go over here is this little plus button this is where you add your accounts like youtube twitch whatever you want to stream on log in and then as soon as you stream it'll go straight to that account so make sure you log in there before uh, you do anything else and then up here you can add hotkeys i don't really use hotkeys but if you want to use hotkeys uh say if you want to click space or something to start streaming that'll be useful for you guys so use that settings tab right there and then moving on down here uh, this is where we set what resolution we want to stream at uh, and things like that and also you'll need to click that settings button to put your input in if you're streaming on PS4 and you haven't done already put PlayStation 4 in and 
pick whatever resolution you want. I've got mine set at 1080 for that because I want uh, 1080p gameplay to come through to my Elgato. And over here will be the stream settings. And also you can see on the left I have 2 megabytes per second. And in these settings I normally put like 720p 30 frames per second just because it's a lot easier for my internet to handle. I'll leave like a internet speed test um, in the description. Use that speed test to look how fast your internet is. And then you can go on YouTube and there's a YouTube streaming guide which tells you what resolution and what frames to stream at depending on what internet you've got. So I'll leave that in the description. As I said, I've got pretty fast internet so I can stream at 1080 but I normally stream at 720 just as easier for my internet and my computer to handle. So. And now for like game audio and live commentary, you want to have these kind of balance. You can also set your microphone. I got mine as a blue snowball. You want to balance just so you can hear both your game audio and live commentary. I normally have my live commentary a bit higher just so people can hear me clearly. You don't want the game to overshadow you speaking. So uh, yeah, that's why you set that up right there. That's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory really. And then over here, as soon as you're ready to start streaming, you just want to click that green stream button, it'll turn orange, and it'll start to flash and spin. And then once that happens, and you'll see an on-air button right up there at the top right where I just uh, zoomed over to. As soon as it says on-air, you are live. And then the final thing, which I'm going to show now, is the blue commentary button. You want to click that, just so people can hear you. If you don't click it, then nobody will be able to hear you through your live stream. But... Uh, yeah guys, that's about it. That's been the headset of the Elgato and how to set up the stream settings. I hope you enjoyed it because it was quite uh, long to make. It took a while, so if it did help, smash a like on it, subscribe if you're new. And let me know if you want more videos like this. Like, do you want to show how to use Steam Labs, how to add them to your streams, things like that. Just let me know in the comment section. But uh, it's been Shedwards and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. See you next time.